so give the heading adjustment entries these adjustment entries represent those items which are not yet recorded these adjustment entries represent those items which are not yet recorded in the books of accounts as these items cannot be found out during the year we have to wait for year to end then only these items can be ascertained and recorded for example i can give you plenty number of examples closing stock can you find out closing stock on 5th of october no not possible not possible can you provide depreciation on 5th of october not possible can you calculate outstanding expenses not possible etc so there are some items which cannot be recorded during the year because we have to wait for the year to end and then only we can identify these items right this is next to impossible that we can find out these items right so i will give you the list of few adjustment entries and explain you the concept behind it simply we need to pass general entries and when you do final account since these are not recorded in books of account so that is why when you do final account so you can prepare final account in two ways number one pass adjustment entries incorporate these adjustment entries in the trial balance so figures of trial balance will be adjusted and then straight away prepare final account then all items of final account will come only once another way move with the trial balance without passing adjustment entries and when you prepare final account show two effects of each adjustment i repeat we can move in two ways given a trial balance these adjustments are not recorded so pass entries incorporate it in the trial balance and then move preparing final account second way don't incorporate don't pass adjustment entries straight away start preparing final account and when you prepare final account show two effects of each adjustment right so these are unrecorded items adjustment entry means un recorded items so these type of uh, concepts you are not going to find in any book right this is quite different from what we are studying from a bookish language so these adjustment entries represent those items which are not yet recorded as these items cannot be found out during the year we have to wait for the year to end and then only these items can be ascertained and recorded right okay fine so i'll give you lot of adjustment entries we need to do it one after the another
adjustment and then entries number one depreciation on fixed assets first tell me what is depreciation it represents that part of the asset which benefit we have derived during the year it represents that part of asset for which we have derived benefit during the year right so anything benefit which you have derived during the year is known as expense so the journal entry will be depreciation is an expense debit and the amount of benefit which you derive due to this the value of asset will reduce i have already said you in depreciation chapter furniture purchase for 1 lakh life 5 years first year benefit derived is 20 to remaining is 80 so from 1 lakh you have to subtract this 20 so 2 fixed asset account next depreciation on fixed asset it is an expense part of cost of the asset right now this depreciation will be shown in pl that's closing entry not adjustment entry all nominal accounts are transferred to trading and profit and loss account that's closing entry next we have closing stock closing stock means stock in hand right closing stock means stock in hand right so this is asset you are going to derive benefit in future from this particular stock it will help you in earning income in next year you are going to feed right your family from this money matching principle says whatever has been sold you are going to show expenses related to that so if i have purchased 10000 and sold 8000 as a result i can show purchase only 8000 but what has happened when i record purchase entry i record it for full 10000 at year end whatever is stock left i will reduce my purchase and then show closing stock as an asset in trial balance you have purchased 10000 pieces in trial balance you have sales 8000 pieces matching principle says all expenses must be matched with the corresponding revenues so by matching principle i should show purchase expense of 8000 but in trial balance it is 10000 so that is why on the opposite side or i will reduce from purchase 2000 pieces so automatically my purchase will be adjusted so i have adjusted my purchase now this 2000 is what it is an asset for me so asset is debit so closing stock account debit to purchases closing stock account debit to purchases
आउटस्टैंडिंग रेंट मींस बेनिफिट डिराइव्ड बट नॉट येट पेड सो दिस इज माई लाइबिलिटी आई हैव टू पे फॉर दिस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू एडजस्ट योर एक्सपेंस यू हैव टू इंक्रीज योर एक्सपेंस इट कैन बी अदर एक्सपेंस ऑल्सो बट आई एम राइटिंग रेंट you haven't paid for it usually it is rent to cash but you haven't paid for it so it will be rent to outstanding liability is always credit remember one thing we are adjusting items and then showing depreciation is an expense adjust fixed asset closing stock is an asset adjust purchase Outstanding rent is a liability. Adjust rent. Are you getting my point? So we are adjusting and then we are finding out these items. That is why we have to wait for the year to end when entire books, may whatever transaction that has taken place is recorded. prepaid salaries we also sell say it expense paid in advance many call it as unexpired expense means you have paid it but benefit is not yet derived sir so again this is asset for me this is asset for me so prepaid is asset so prepaid salary i will debit now if i have paid something in advance so that is there in salary account suppose salary i paid for 13 months so anyway when i pay salary i simply write salary to cash i don't mention over there advance i know it's an advance but that adjustment i'm going to do at year end right simply i will write salary to cash salary to cash salary to cash and if anything is advanced then i will reduce salary at year end so it is prepaid salary to so we need to adjust and then these items will occur adjust fixed asset show depreciation adjust purchase show closing stock asset adjust rent show outstanding adjust salary show prepaid accrued income it means income earned but not yet 
received so not yet received means it's an asset for you not yet received means it's an asset for you so so first of all i have to increase it's an asset right so accrued income account debit accrued income account debit and i have to increase the ex income account in trial balance we have income earned and received not not received whatever figure you are seeing in trial balance that represents only received part accrual concept says it doesn't matter whether you receive it or not you should show it as income in your profit and loss account and you should show it as expense in profit and loss account it is related to this time period this accounting period show it as income then the portion which you not receive show it as an asset so this is accrued income account debit to income account pre received income also known as income received in advance also many call it as unearned income see why it is unearned because i have paid you that is why it's a pre received for you that is why we are saying unearned see when i say unearned try to understand if i say earned right it means either received or not received received is there in trial balance not received is there in adjustments if i say unearned it means i have already received if you haven't received then why unearned try to understand the question of unearned only arises when you have received it so that received figure is there in trial balance but it's unearned you haven't provided the service so now you are going to adjust your received part so it is liability so we have to decrease our income income debit to pre received income income account debit to pre received income so don't forget the meaning right there are few more adjustments which you can get in your exam like uh, sometimes goods distributed as free samples so basically it will be regarded as advertisement expense so we are going to show advertisement account debit to purchases adjust purchases goods withdrawn by 
proprietor so this is drawings and drawings is what asset drawings is what it is asset right so we are going to show drawings asset debit goods destroyed by fire goods destroyed by fire so it is a loss to you right so goods destroyed by fire account debit two purchases and this loss will be shown where you all know profit and loss account insurance claim lodged 6000 now goods have been destroyed to the extent of 10000 right so i repeat it's a loss but the loss is of far less amount so anyway we are going to adjust our purchases by 10000 whatever amount the goods have been destroyed so purchase will be adjusted with the gross figure right the amount to be shown in pl is 4000 and 6000 you have to show insurance claim receivable
right so these are some of the list of adjustment entries i repeat again you are going to do these things when you do final account and uh, you might come across with few more but it's more or less the same the basic adjustments are the depreciation the stock the adjustments with respect to expenses provision for bad debt we are going to cover later on in a separate class there is a separate class for provision for bad debt so that i have not been covering here and uh, then we have some adjustments related to goods we have some adjustment with respect to goods destroyed by fire right so these adjustment entries uh, are not recorded so we will record it so you can either incorporate in trial balance and then prepare final account or you can directly prepare final account and show two effects of these adjustments right so that's it from today uh, in the next session we'll be starting with some other topic till then goodbye take care